Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerron Fit, man. Doing a little something different, man. Uh, just taking you guys, giving you uh, like a kind of a look of uh, through the week how I train instead of doing just like one video. It's a collage of several videos so you can kind of see uh, what I do throughout the week. So this is going to be like two workouts into one video. It's your boy Jerron Fit. Hope y'all enjoy it, man. Don't forget, grab your coaching programs www.jeronfitcoaching.com Thank y'all for your support. Total body training. Stay lean all year round. And be strong and big. Whatever you want to do. See you in the gym. Hey guys, I want to take a little second in between a workout, man, and take a pause, explain something, get some tips. One of my favorite movements, man, to help build those shoulders up and traps is upright rows, man. People neglect the upright row. Implement that into your program. Use the bar and the cables, man, to help build up those shoulders and traps in a different way. I swear you'll be happy with the results. Jerome Fit. That was me doing cursive in my name. I'm just kidding. Do upright rows though. Heavy upright rows. Don't be going no 20 reps. Heavy ish. 8 to 10. You know what I'm saying? Hey, a little tip for you guys. If you are a quad dominant person like myself, I'll do a leg extensions, first pre-exhaustion leg extensions before I go into my squat or my leg press. So that's something to think about. If you're a quad dominant, i.e. your quads are big and your hamstrings lack, do your leg extensions to pre-fatigue the quads first 
So when you go to a leg press and or a squat or whatever, the hamstrings get to work a little harder. Hey, what's up? It's your boy. You know what's up. Man, something I learned, man, going from dips to incline press, either dumbbells, whatever, hammer straight, it doesn't matter, has seemed to work very, very well for me. And I don't know why, I can't explain it, but I just have liked it and I've experienced some fascinating results from it. You should try it too. Stop doing them 20 reps and 15 rep sets, man. Stop being a bitch and put some plates on there. And when you train legs, you only add about 45 pound plates. Anything else is uncivilized. All right, y'all. All right, I pulled up. Right. Yeah, it's Jack in the Box, man. Like I've been telling y'all, turn this music down. I like to eat burgers and fries, man. A burgers, pizza, and fries. I swear by it. I swear by it. That's if you lean and stay lean all year round. None of this bulking and cutting shit. And people are like, how to drum? How do you lose weight if you do that? Very simple. I'm not even joking, man. I stop eating dessert. I cut out my sugar, stuff like that. That's all I do. I just don't eat dessert. That's it. I used to always eat desserts, but when I want to look tighter and look leaner, I just stop eating dessert. If y'all know anything about fat loss and, and things of that nature, how simple sugars inhibit fat loss. It's a very simple concept, man. Burgers and fries after training. My first meal today, earlier, I went to McDonald's, had a cheeseburger, no onions, and a, what is it, Sasha, Sasha's egg biscuit, and a uh, small fry. That was my first meal, like around one o'clock. And I trained around, shit, what time did I train? I trained late today. I was training about 6, 7 o'clock today. So now, it's like 10 o'clock now. So I'm going to eat this. And then I'm going to probably make, I'm gonna make one more meal for sure tonight. Like I said, I got 
two cheeseburg two bacon cheeseburgers and a small fry and uh, that'll be like my second meal and my last meal i always keep my last meal relatively clean and, and very tight so it'll be real simple i do chicken and rice man oh man i love chicken and rice i don't know what it is man I make it different kind of way. Sometimes I just use some shredded chicken, and sometimes I do like a boil, a boiled man. I love chicken and rice. It's my secret bodybuilder food, man. Chicken and rice, not that white rice. It's some good chicken. Not no chicken breast. I like the you know stuff with the fat on it, man. Uh, sometimes I get like a leg holder, and I boil it in the pot to boil the meat off it. You know what I mean? With some with some chicken uh, broth in there, and then I put the rice in there to boil it all down, man. Oh man, it's so good. I love it personally. I feel like I'm getting big. So man, that's something different, man. Show y'all a little bit how I do things. So like I said, my last meal boring. Just some chicken and rice, man. Nothing spectacular. Nothing special, man. My last meal usually is pretty clean. Cause like I said, I'm just trying to hit macros throughout the day, man. And I'm not trying to eat 50 meals. That's stupid. All right, that's wrapped up my total body. Like I remember, like y'all know, I can't put everything in there. We'll be talking about an hour long video. So y'all get the general gist of it, man. Remember, keep that intensity up, man. Don't be messing around in the gym. Get in there, do what you gotta do, and get out, man. Be on a mission, be on a purpose, man. Don't be in there jacking around with your friends, checking on your phone. Get in, get out, do all that mess after, man. Be serious about what you do. Take what you do seriously, and you will reap the rewards from it, man. Don't forget, have programs available. If you like my training, man, if you like and wanna support, definitely uh, go ahead and go to www.jeronfitcoaching.com. Thank y'all for y'all support, man. Thank you guys for uh, having belief in me with this total body training. I always say it is not easy to accept something new and we are bringing something new to the table at first. Uh, it's not going to be accepted, but if you persevere and stick it out, you will, will be happy with the outcome. I promise you that. Remember that. That's some game.